What's up, everybody? It's been a little while since I posted anything up on the vlog, so I thought I'd just uh, check in with you guys on a rainy day here in the Northeast. A really foggy, disgusting, yucky day out there. But I wanted to say, hey, um, I haven't posted anything since I kind of uploaded a copy of my remarks after receiving this wonderful recognition from the ALS Association of Connecticut which was really, really sweet. It really meant a lot to me um, to be recognized like that. And there's a lot of people in my community that, that do a lot of really, really great things. And, and to be recognized with some people, you know, um, that have, that have uh, done some great things. It's, you know, I've got some big shoes to fill and, and uh, I'm really ready to, to, to give back and do what I can, you know, to spread awareness of ALS. I, I got to be honest, I was really frightened to post that. I was kind of embarrassed. I don't know. You know, I, I spoke from my heart and, and I and it was a because of the content and because of the audience and, you know, who I was speaking to and my family was there. You know, as soon as I got up to the podium, I, I got the I, I got I kind of lost it. I looked out at the crowd and saw so many people that mean so much to me that that I care about people that are hurting people that need help also people that are they are the ones that are doing the helping those people from the association the ALS association from Connecticut um, just watching them while I was up there as soon as I saw them I I, I, I got all choked up it's like I ate a chicken or something it was really kind of ridiculous so I was like I'm not posting this to everybody to see but you know what I think that's what I need to do. I need to get my message out there, whether it looks pretty or not, whether I look ridiculous or not. I think, you know, the meaning and the words behind it are what count. Um, it seems like I made the right decision because I, I, I want to thank everybody because I've gotten some very good response um, that it's helping people. And that really makes me feel good, you know. And um, not only just my family and friends, which has started out kind of reaching, I'm starting to reach people now within the ALS community. And I'm so glad you're here with me because we need to fight this disease together. Uh, and I'm gonna keep talking until I can't talk any longer and I'm gonna keep fighting. And I'm hearing from people all over the world now. And um, you know, people are reaching out to me from the UK, from all over Europe, from Canada, and uh, it's good stuff. Okay, and um, you know we got a long road ahead of us, but the road goes on forever. Don't forget, and we and, and we're going to make some changes. I mean, it's still ALS Awareness Month, and there are representatives from every state down in Washington D.C. as we speak right now, speaking to our local representatives or our congressmen, a bunch of the politicians down there in D.C. and talking to them about a lot of the regulations that have been stifling us to get help you know, certain things like the amount of time we have to wait before we can get certain kinds of Medicare and, and other health care issues and some restrictions that we can get, you know, that need to be loosened up so we can get the, the health care that we need. You know, the awareness just needs to get out there because I've said this before, there, there's a cure out there, you know, and there's just not enough funding. So hopefully they're doing some good down there. My experience is, you know, I think the politicians, they just like to gab, 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 you know, whatever, in and out one year, and they make you feel good, and really nothing really happens. So let's see if we can make a change. You know, I, I feel like we can, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, on another front, um, I got this really cool care package in the mail this week from one of my old high school friends, uh, a, um, uh, a classmate uh, back uh, from Scarsdale, Scarsdale Raiders, born to run in 81 uh, from my class. Sent me a little care pack with this cool retro Scarsdale hat. Like I'm a trucker hat right here, man. I'm definitely styling, but I'm representing Scarsdale. But not only that, check this shit out. 1980s nostalgic candy. Yes, it is. I kid you not. This thing, sweet tarts, pop rocks, uh, bubble yum, uh, my God, like, like all kinds of 
you know, crazy stuff that we used to have from you Lauren Tarshish for that awesome care package. I loved it. Um, on another front, you may remember that I posted a blog, a video about three or four weeks ago, and it had to do with um, my, my concerns about my daughter going away to school really far away. She got into a lot of schools. She, 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 she tried to get into 18 schools, so whittling it down, she traveled the country, California, Florida, Colorado, uh, Vermont, Maine, Boston, I mean, so many places, you know, in Pennsylvania. I really wanted her to stay close to home, obviously, because of my health condition, too. I didn't want her to be really too far away from me. But, you know, if you remember in that post, I talked about having to let go and how, how hard that was and not putting my foot down. And, you know, her mother and I decided that we were, we were going to let her see whatever school she wanted and, and let her make her own decision, you know. And, you know, whatever happens, it's going to be the best decision for her. And... Um, you know, she needed to make it herself. She decided to go to Temple University. As you can see, I'm represented. Um, to those of you who may or may not know that my son Ryan uh, goes to Temple University, he loves it there. We love that school. We think it's amazing. The city of Philadelphia is amazing. I'm not talking about the sports teams now. We're still New York sports teams all the way, but I, I, I couldn't be happier. Lindsay chose to go to Temple. Um, her brother would be there to kind of help look after her, which I, I couldn't be more excited about. I mean, the fact that um, they're going to be together, uh, not together, but at the same school in the same city, finding them to come home real quick. You know, they hop on a, an Amtrak in Philadelphia, and they're up here in Stanford by noon. So, you know, I, I, I think that's going to be great. I, you know, eventually, you know, Ryan knows, you know, he's going to carry the torch and going to be the man of the family. So, man, having them together and having the fact that she made that decision on her own, um, it just it made me so happy. So uh, thrilled about that. I, I, the, only, the only other thing I have to say is that um, I've got a lot more awesomeness to go, that's going to be going on in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be seeing a bunch of new music um, at the Capitol Theater in the next coming weeks. My big highlight musically, though, is going to see Eric Clapton at the Greenwich Town Party, and that's in about a week and a half, two weeks, I don't even know. But I cannot wait to see Slohan in action uh, in my hometown. That's gonna be off the hook, and um, so I can't wait for that. So I've got, uh, I've, been, I've been a little lacking posting like pictures and stuff from going out and stuff like that. I've, I, like I said, I haven't been on here for a while. But anyway, I hope this finds you well. Look for me to start posting some more. Make yourself aware of ALS this month and every month going forward. And I really appreciate you guys looking at my videos and checking out my blog. I love you guys. Peace and rock and roll. Later.